In this video, I'm going to take a closer look at arrangement markers and the arrangement track in GarageBand for Mac and how you can use them to improve your recording and mixing workflow. Now, I know arrangement markers doesn't sound like the most exciting feature in the world, but using them to their full potential can actually really make your recording and mixing life much, much easier. So in a nutshell, you can add arrangement markers through a project to create different sections like verses and choruses, and then move these sections in the tracks area to rearrange your project. To get started, click on track in GarageBand's toolbar, then select show arrangement track. The first arrangement marker you add begins at the start of the project, and each additional arrangement marker you add starts at the end of the previous one with no space in between. You'll get the most out of these arrangement markers if you add them to every section of your project so that you can rearrange the entire project as and when you need to. Arrangement markers are eight bars long by default. You can resize them though by hovering over the edge of a marker with your mouse pointer until the resize icon appears, then just drag and drop to the size that you want. You can also rename your markers to reflect its place in the project by clicking on its name and either selecting a pre-existing name or by naming it yourself. So if we have a look at this project here, I have a verse, bridge and chorus already put together and here's how that sounds. If I drag the bridge to behind the chorus, the verse will play back straight into the chorus. A good example of how this can be especially useful would be if you have an entire project pretty much completed, but think that actually you want to add some kind of intro to it. Instead of going through the arduous process of selecting all of your individual regions and then dragging and dropping them into just the right place to make room for your intro, instead you can simply record your intro at an arrangement marker at the end of the rest of your project and then drag it to the start of your project. Much, much easier. Another thing to note is that if you add arrangement markers to a project and then add a drummer track, Drummer regions for each arrangement marker are added, with the length and name of the regions corresponding to the markers. Which is very, very useful and could save you a ton of time. That's it to get the most from GarageBand's arrangement markers. Let me know if you use these or if you plan to use these in the future down in the comments. And if you found this video helpful, give that like button a good heart slap on the way past. I really appreciate it. And if you want to discover another incredibly powerful built-in tool that GarageBand for Mac has up its sleeve, watch this next. <laughs>